hey, hey, Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. And to Bleak Fall Sanctum, we go. If you remember what happened in the last video, we cleared out Bleak Falls Temple. And now it's time for the Sanctum. This should pretty much be a one-shot. There's not much here. Just a handful of Draugr before the main area. And a couple of traps. This one coming up being the most notable. Summon our flame at Janak. Okay, that potion for this call. And oh boy. Probably throw up our cold flesh. Thank you, Fane Doll. And that's the end of the Draugr. All three of them. Alright. That was the hard part of the Sanctum. Well, until the very end. Nothing here at all. Although, a little bit of oil. Burn it away. And by the way, those little lanterns aren't you can can be knocked down. See? They make nice little grenades. Let that burn out. And nothing else exciting until we get to the door at the end of the Hall of Stories. This is why we, this is what the Golden Claw is for. And to do this, you look at the claw here, zoom in, and you can see on the on the palm of the claw there are three animals, just like there are three animals on the door. On this one it says bear, moth, and owl. So we have a moth, an owl, and a bear. None of them are right, so let's hit them all. That's still not right. Hit them all. And look at that, bear, moth, owl. Stick the claw in. And that is how you operate a Nordic uh, key door. For those, for those ten of you who have never seen this happen before, if that many, now you know how it works. That's not much you can do about them. Not all that much here. There's only one critter left in the entire dungeon, and he's up there, and will only come out if you do a certain thing. We're not going to do that thing yet. However, there are some things we can do. Like loot this chest for starters, and inside the chest is a decent amount of loot. We're going to come back around. Boing. We're going to go around this way. And 
over here is another chest with nine septums. Whoop the frickin' do. Okay. The way out is up that way, but we'll get to that in just a bit. There's still plenty of looting to be done, though. Grab that weak frenzy potion, petty soul gem, and a handful of linen wraps. Critters in there, by the way. Let's pop the chest, because we can. Apprentice robes are regen- Ooh! And a dwarf and bow of- Wow! Okay. So, we're going to look at our mage robes compared to our black robes, and, uh, make these black robes do nothing. Okay. I think we better put those on. What the hell did I do? <laughs> Uh, maybe once upon a time they did something. I installed a mod that changes things up a little bit. Apparently changed it up for the wrong way for me. Okay. So, we're going to save here. Because this is going to be a boss fight, but we need to read this. This is why we're here. That's one reason why we're here. need to look at something real quick. Let's look at my alteration. I don't have dual casting. That's what I thought. Alright, he's coming after me, so... Fine. Not the brightest thing he ever did. And now we have the Dragon Stone. We have everything we need. Let's get out of here. <coughs> that did not take very long now, did it, folks? That's okay. We have some other things that I want to show you. Go through this way. Little lever here. Pull it. Follow the path. Alright, not much here at all, so we're just going to have to drop, pop this chest, fair enough. I'm not bothering with the skull, that is literally worth zero, but the flowers are good. Alright. If you wonder why things look different on the value on the value front, uh, there's a mod called Weapon Armor Clothing and Clutter Fixes, or uh, WACCF. Um, it is a utility uh, that well fixes uh, a few bugs, but at the same time, and also makes things a little more realistic. Like pedals no longer weigh two pounds; they weigh twenty. And holy crap, is it dark out? Okay, there's a potion over here. There will always be a potion over there, so don't be afraid to grab it. You can fast travel from here if you want to, but there's a couple things I want to do first before we do so. We're going to drop down. And yes, there is a safe way to do this. And there we go, we're on the ground. Okay, just gotta remember where they are. Okay, yep, here's one. Corundum vein. Okay. And if we go back this way, there should be another one around here somewhere. pitch black, there's no way in hell I'm going around without a frickin' light. I'm trying to remember where this other corundum vein is. I have not prayed in a while. I need to pray. So, I guess I'm praying.
the longer you go without praying, the worse your favor gets with your deity, and if you get it down to zero percent, they will abandon you. So, uh, little tip, don't do that. Is it over here? Okay, well, I can't find it. Uh, it's not that big of a worry. Corundum's nice, but it's not a deal breaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here a little bit. We're going to go to that cave there. Also because we're close enough to it, we're going to need to mark it. We're going to need to be here at some point anyway. So we're just going to do it. Bad dog. Wolves really don't hit hard. But a successful fight still a successful fight and it deserves a save. We have discovered Lake Illinalta. It's a fishing spot here. Do we have a fishing rod? Yep, we got two now. <laughs> Damn dogs. As I said, it helps to be able to see what the hell you're doing. That is what we wanted to mark. South Brittleshin Pass. There is something inside South Brittleshin Pass that we will need to take care of at some point. It will also eventually lead us to North Brittleshin Pass, which will be right near something else we need to take care of. So, it all works its way. But for now, we're going to head back to Riverwood and give Lucan back his claw. If he's awake. No, ain't that a face, huh? I think I went to school with that guy. Looks like one of my old professors, actually. <laughs> okay. I bet you anything, his door is locked for the night. Yep. Which means we ain't doing shit until he gets up in the morning. 1.40 in the morning, which means... Even Delphine's in bed for the night. That's fine. I need to play with this enchanter anyway. Okay. They both deal frost damage, but the bow is worth more. And... That will have to do for now. Okay. So we have my way back through town. We're just going to chill at the Sleeping Giant for a bit. Even if we can't get a room, we'll just wait. There's places where we can park our big fat butt and just wait. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Even though you can get food from them, you can't get a drink. Oh wait, she's awake? Yeah, it's not like we need to sleep anyway. Oh, right, she's not even here. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason for that. So we're just going to park. 
for six hours. It is now eight o'clock in the morning. And it's now time to go to to go give Lucan his claw back. And, yeah, we can sell our stuff. Camilla, what are you doing on the ground? You have the claw. Oh, you have to tell Lucan at once. Hurry. Show those... You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you. Take a look. All right, now we will sell our stuff. Well, at least the shit we don't need. Now we'll keep our Vel's journal because it does have some use. We'll sell that bow. Only need one fishing rod. The stuff, sell the jewelry because shit's a little more valuable than to us right now because we need the money. I'll sell that weak frenzy potion and mm, I think everything else we can keep there. And that will do for now. Mm -hmm. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. We don't sell any imports from Somerset Isle, do we, Lucan? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so since we're done there, we've got more stuff we need to unload. So back to the Tundra Homestead for our secondary drop-off at the forge. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> so we can get ready for the next part that's gonna completely snowball. We've got plot to uncover. All right, so drop off everything we don't need. Which is all of that. Actually, hold up. We're going to hold on to the unfilled soul gems because I can fill them now. Okay, we don't need the books. Put up the sacks of flour. And that'll do for now. Okay, off to Dragon's Reach. And it's raining. 
Did I just see thunder as I was opening the door there? Oh, that's going to make things interesting. All right. So now to give the dragon stone to Farangar. You see, the terminology is clearly first uh -huh. or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text, perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farangar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from the Leap Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with you. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. He went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you decide it. Marangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? Or what was it doing? I think this a bit more serious. <laughs> I don't know, he seemed to be taking it pretty seriously to me. Alright, so we're just waiting. Let's go. So, you're in a tells me you came from the western watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was false. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. Vernon, here left. You'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, Cool. Accept this gift from my personal armory. Iron Gaunt wants a major smithing. No. Okay. So we're going to dismantle those gauntlets. Wow. Okay, that that was useful. What level are we anyway? Ten. Alright, so we now need to go to the Watchtower. And if you're wondering about purchasing property, yeah, we don't got the fundage for that. Yet. And you might notice a few new map markers. Uh, there's a mod called Ma uh, Map Markers Complete, which fills in a lot of small but important uh, locations, like shrines, houses, stuff like that. 
things that are not normally covered in the vanilla with the vanilla matte markers. Here's the situation. Said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. But I do know that it's made the mistake of attacking White Run. But House Card, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. Dragons threaten our homes, our families. Did you call yourself Nord if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? So dead. <laughs> Love that one guard. We're so dead. Yeah. All right. She knows how to whip them up into a frenzy. Alright, so it is time for us to go fight a dragon. Luckily for us, we have got a variety of ways of taking down a dragon. We have spells for short range, we have spells for long range. We can summon astronauts. We can raise the dead. I can create a weapon out of thin air and hook it in the snoot. If that's what is required. Don't think illusion spells are going to really do much here. We can heal ourselves if uh, the dragon decides to burn us to a crisp. There's Rasad. Kind of strange that they're moving faster than we are. Fair amount of lootables there. And worst case scenario, we could just throw a lot of courage spells at the guard and the Arilla. Here it comes. Okay, throwing straight fire at us here. Well, we know how to we know how to fix that. 
Gulp down fire resistance. And... In this situation right now... Bugger. Actually... save our healing for the potions just because we are out of Okay, he's about to drop. Okay, he's about to die. And our little ancestral ghost did absolutely nothing. Hey, we survived! Wait, I still have some magical potions? Oh shit, okay. And here I was rationing like I thought I was out. <laughs> well, so we're gonna loot this fucker. Hide helmet of minor restoration. Well, we could strip that. Now it's time we eat our first soul, like a redhead getting a freckle. Use the shouts section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force shout. So by doing that, and yet, yeah, sure enough, there we go. I can't believe you are Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in sky, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you do, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That will prove, according to the old legend, only the dragon horn shout the dragon. My grandfather used to 
tell stories about the dragon boy. Those born with the dragon blood. That old type of set. I've never heard of that receptive thing. Dragons. There were not any dragons yet. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. Because the old tales tell of the dragon boy who could kill dragons and steal the power. You must be one. Are you saying me that? And you won't feel quiet. Come on, man. Tell us. Well, here we go. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Cat right away. Y'all Balder wants to know what happened. So there you go. That's what we're going to be doing now. After we grab that Tundra Cotton, of course. So we survived with uh, only a few Magic Restoration Potions available. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? More plot! So let's run all the way back. Actually, let's talk to Rasad first and sell off some crap. This one needs some decor. Hey, if he's here, might as, well, might as well use him. Lantern, all that crap. We're gonna keep those. That's all junk. Alright, so we got a whopping 50 gold out of that. Woohoo. <laughs> That's alright. lands. No, well. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiteron. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We will find her eventually. Alright, so we got... So now you know what we're going to be doing next.
Well, because it's better than novice robes, we're getting... We're getting the robe talk. Alright. Well, and let's look at our blessing. Yeah, we still got ten, we still got five and a half hours on that. We might as well keep it. Makes our uh, oak flesh that much better. Okay. So back in to Dragon's Reach and more plot. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nor nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. But there's quite the delay. <laughs> I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very... Disconnected from the troubles of this world, I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored <laughs> to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. Okay. So, let's look at the Axe of White Run. Just your typical axe that has soul trap? Well, wow. you'll have a city to defend. Yes, my Well, we're going to dismantle that so we have something to work with. This isn't exactly a legacy of the Dragonborn run. And we'll dismantle that hide helmet, which gives us. Another point of restoration or enchanting. That's what I meant. Divine smile on. Hmm. 
I had you figured. Don't think I got range. all the I spells yet, did I? No, this. necromantic healing. All right. If you've got the Read and learned. You should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Now, we're about to. I'm gonna need to talk to you, everybody, about something here. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. All right. Everybody knows who Lydia is now. She has been memed so hard, so much, that you can't help but know who Lydia is. And we're going to hold Fair off way. on Lydia. Okay? We're going to stick with Feindal. Here's what's up. House Carls have a max level of 50. Feindal has a max level of 30. So you're probably wondering, okay, why not just go with the one with the higher level? Hold that thought. Because Feindal has a lower level threshold, and because he still won't get quite as powerful as Lydia, up until level 30, as they go neck and neck, he will still have a bit more oomph in his levels than Lydia will. That's just how it works. It, think of it like manual transmission on a car. It's acceleration versus speed. Okay? When you're driving a stick, you start with the low gear and then work your way up. It's, kinda, it's the same thing with uh, the followers. Vaindal has a lower, mat, uh, lower top speed, but his acceleration is better. So that's what we're doing. There are there lower max level characters than Feindal? Yes. Have we run into any of them yet? No. At least I don't think we have. Yeah, I already knew that. <laughs> so that is the score there. And I gained 10. Oh, right. The, yeah. Okay. So we're going to go back to the Tundra Homestead. We're going to drop off the uh, dragon uh, body parts. And then I think we're going to leave it here. Next episode, we're going to do the In My Time of Need quest. Where we help or hinder the Alakir into finding a woman that they are scouring the countryside for and we need to that is not my prayer that is however okay so we drop off our bone giggity and our scales are a lot lighter with the weapon armor and clothing fix uh that more of that. And we can make do with what we got for now. Wow, we've got a lot of potions of strength. <laughs> okay. I think we're good to go for now. Okay, we already got it queued up. Oh, no, we don't. Now we do. And we're going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Skyrim Anniversary Edition. I'll see you all next time.